And so good morning, planet Earth. Here we are again on the bottom of the ocean. This fantastic tiny squid. We were surveying a very high cliff, completely made up by a white limestone. How could you suspect that this very tiny little animal is contributing to do huge, huge formations, to make rocks that can be hundreds of meters thick? When you go and think about the ocean, you talk about whales, dolphins, sharks, you know, dramatic things. But all of this is just a tiny fraction of biomass. We've seen so many charismatic animals on this expedition. But there are unsung miniature masses in the ocean who play essential roles in the climate story of the deep. Yeah, the small solid brownish disc is a foraminifera. It's foraminifera is a unicellular organism. It's a majority of things which actually drive the ocean will be that size. And we're talking about size of human hair. And here there's a really bright spot. This is foraminifera. But despite being primitive, we're actually very important for climate change story. And the reason for that is a tiny calcitic shell that you create it's the same mineral as form in your cattle scale, basically. It's different elements incorporate in this shell proportional to the temperature of the water or proportional to, for example, acidity of the water. We scientists learn how to use chemistry of these shells to interpret in water parameters of the ocean in the past. 80% of climate records we know about past ocean came from this tiny unicellular organism. Foraminifera build up over a long time layer upon layer of biology becoming history. The challenge for us now, and especially for scientists, is to actually understand all these tricky connections between CO2 emission in the atmosphere and how it all will propagate through all this chain down to all these small scale organisms. And look at this soup. You know, there's hundreds of species, and each of them will have unique response to what we're doing in the ocean. So when you talk about, like, what's going to happen with the ocean, you know, it's tricky things because there's so many variety of responses to the ocean. It's very complicated. Thousands of years of climate history lays hidden in the Foraminifera. The last hundred years of a human time scale can live in the coral skeletons. And our water samples characterize the modern day with incredible accuracy. The range of samples we've collected will generate years of research and help us to understand how the oceans are adapting to our changing planet.